For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. We are here at the State House in Concord delivering this petition for redress of grievance against Cynthia Chase. That's New Hampshire Free Stater Daryl Perry, proving you really can get something done inside the system. This effort forced the entire New Hampshire House to take a vote about one of its reps, who he doesn't like. When legislator Cynthia Chase advocated restricting people's freedoms, her comments went viral. In case you're wondering why I'm showing an image of a 20th century teamster instead of Cynthia Chase, I will have to digress briefly. I'm basically practicing over-obedience in protest of IP laws. You see, there is a picture out there of Cynthia Chase that people have been using, but I can't tell who shot it or what its uh, permissions status is. So I'm following the IP laws. I'm just going to go out on a limb and assume that since Cynthia Chase is uh, rated as one of the most anti-freedom reps in New Hampshire, she's probably not an anarchist opponent of IP law. I'm going to make the bold assumption that she doesn't favor seceding from the Federal Union and its intellectual property laws. This is what it looks like when people follow your lame laws. The intellectual property rules that have a chilling effect on me using the actual picture of Cynthia Chase. So, she'll have to be stuck with me using this lampooning image of her until I have one that I can confirm that I have permission to use. IP law has the chilling effect on using the ideal photograph. Rush Limbaugh says she does look like a teamster. But anyway, teamster or not, her comments went viral. And Perry's efforts here uh, helped to build on that. The House voted down his suggestion that they censure her, but this petition uh, added fuel to a fire that is burning in our direction. It resulted in another story in the Union Leader, which resulted in more angry comments by authoritarians in New Hampshire. This thing is, as they say, blowing up good. Only one by one are the authoritarians realizing that the best thing they can do is to not talk about us. The sooner they stop talking about us, the less publicity we get. See, that's why you should watch the Ridley Report. Even if you're an authoritarian, you might get some free advice. Anyway, as usual, I have some thoughts about this and a take on this that's probably different from everybody else's. I used to think, back around the 2006 era, that a day would come when our movement was so big and powerful that it started to be kind of like the civil rights movement is you know, so like the modern civil rights movement, right? Yes, right now it is a little bit like the early civil rights movement, the civil disobedience, the political action, the martyred activists, although in our case we haven't had near as many deaths. If that's some, it depends on how you count them. But anyway, as the civil rights movement got bigger, older, stronger, it began to become the bad guy to some extent, sometimes. It began to overplay its hand and to push back against speech. Now, I'm not sure that's precisely what Daryl Perry was doing. We really ought to read the petition. Uh, and if you if you go to, go to the video description for this video, you'll see a link to Daryl Perry's petition and read it before you judge him. But there is a perception out there that it was Cynthia Chase's comments that are getting her in trouble. Uh, and I'm not sure that comments should be the thing that you fight against. Or at least if you fight them, you, you, you maybe only fight them with comments of your own, right? Or with publicity of your own. The problem with Cynthia Chase and the reason that she should be thrown out of office is her votes, not her, uh, not her voice. Looking at her, her very low New Hampshire Liberty Alliance rankings, she's obviously, she's apparently one of the 25 most anti-freedom legislators in the state house, uh, last time she was raided. That means she has taken indirect violent action against you. Initiated it. 
LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.